Hi subscribers and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dominic James Murray, CEO and founder here at Cameron James. For those of you who know me from the channel, I've been transferring UK pensions for over 10 years, so I'm here to share my industry. Um, as CEO and founder of Cameron James, I know the company better than most. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what makes Cameron James different from the competition in the market. I would say the number one single biggest difference between ourselves and other competitors in the UK and in the offshore market is that we only work with commission-free and zero trail paying funds uh, in the industry. What this means is whether you're in the UK, France, America, wherever you may be located and working with us, we will provide you with an FCA level um, of best practice, which means no commission uh, from any of the providers that we work with. So effectively, when we're putting a report together for you, you will see our advice repeat. We have a transparent advice fee of one, two or 3%, as you can see from the cost section on our website, up 250,000 pounds, 3% setup fee, between 250 and a million, 2% setup fee, over 1 million, 1% setup fee, and we have a 1% ongoing annual management charge. Um, outside of this, the underlying funds and the platforms that we use or any providers that we use, we never receive payments from any of those providers that we would be placing your business with. What this means is that the transfer fee you pay us and our ongoing advisory fee that you pay us is the only re remuneration that we receive. What this means is we are 100% focused on your best interest. If we can find a cheaper provider, if we can find a better performing fund, it doesn't make difference to us who we change and switch around with. Sometimes we have to say to certain platforms or SIPs, thanks guys, been working with you for three years. However, there's now XYZ Limited have opened up their SIP or their platform. It's as good as yours, the technology's better, it's as regulated. We're gonna be moving over to save our clients 10 basis points or whatever it is. Sometimes that platform will come back to us and say, oh yeah, thanks Cameron James, I've really appreciated your business. Business, we will price honor that other platform um, if you'd like to keep your business with us. That's how we work at Cameron James. We're always trying to reduce the cost wherever we can because it doesn't eat into our commission. We're on your side uh, when it comes to giving you financial advice and ensuring uh, that you have the best fees. Secondly, I would say the biggest difference is that we really are a specialist in working with final salary pension transfers. I myself am a qualified pension transfer specialist, so too are our senior financial advisors at Cameron James. However, despite the fact that we are a qualified pension transfer specialist, we will always ensure that your reports are written independently from ourselves. What this means is that even as myself as CEO, if I meet you, I really like you, uh, I really want to work with you, uh, it's a great relationship, I still can't have the overarching say on whether a final salary pension transfer is in your best interests or not. If I could, if I could influence that decision, even though I wouldn't, obviously the CEO of the company, there would be a conflict of interest could occur because potentially, unless I can get your transfer to proceed, I'm not gonna make any money uh, from the transfer, which obviously to do with contingent charging, uh, so to speak. So we're very independent in the way that which your reports are written. So when you receive your final salary report, sometimes 60, 70, 80, 90 page document with a lot of calculations in it, you will know that us, your financial advisor, Cameron James, have put forward the best story or best foot that we can, best rationale in terms of why a pension transfer might be suitable for you, or alternative, why a pension transfer might not be suitable for you, but the out the ultimate outcome of the report is not controlled by us and is independent. Once you have that report and then you can decide what you want to do with it. Um, so coming on to point number three, in a very rare situation, we're one of the few firms in the industry that can proceed with clients at the time of recording um, as an insistent client. An insistent client is effectively a client who says, thank you very much for your DB authorized advice um, that you've received from the authorized PTS that we introduced you to. However, I believe in my situation that I would like to transfer my pension anyway. Typically speaking, the client then has to write a handwritten letter, also has to do a compliance call with one of our managers recorded to check they truly understand things. There's additional paperwork that needs to be signed uh, in terms of being an insistent client, but it allows you to exercise your statutory right to go against the advice of retaining your pension if you believe it's in your best interest. Now, as a company, we wouldn't necessarily allow all clients to proceed as an assistant client if it was really apparent. Say, for example, they had a million pound pension pot and their net worth was 1.2 million. So they got 200K outside their pension scheme. There's no other extenuating circumstances such as ill health or anything like that. It wouldn't really be wise for someone in that situation to proceed against advice of retain and be an assistant client. We would actively encourage someone not to because we don't really think it's in their best interest. And we think they should stay with inside their pot. But clients do ultimately have the right to continue on an insistent client basis and we will approve those um, on a case-by-case -case basis. 
The other big difference to Cameron James is we are more than happy and actually willing for you to contact our existing clients. So for example, I have clients in many different jurisdictions from different backgrounds, different portfolio sizes. So if you're ever working with me, I'd be more than happy for you to reach out to them independently. I know when I'm looking for a new accountant, a lawyer, um, whatever it might be, I like to get references from other people in the industry. Have you worked with them before? What were the contracts like? Uh, how did this work? Um, and you can have a little bit more trust in working with someone. So if you're ever working with me or one of our advisors, simply say to them, can I reach out to three or four of your existing clients? The only caveat is uh, once you become a client and you sign up, you might have to give that back to someone else who's become a new client. But most clients, I would say, are really happy to do this. If you spend one, two, three, four, even 12 months advise, researching the DB market, you end up working with Cameron James, you've made that decision based on a huge amount of homework and research. Help someone else who's right at the start of their journey. You can have a 20 minute call with them or a five minute call with them or even an email exchange and say, I went round the bush again and again. I finally found Cameron James. I think they're a really good outfit. I can't confirm that obviously your advice is gonna be as good as mine, but I've really enjoyed my experience with them. Um, I have only positive words to say, and it can at least help that client possibly avoid working with other advisory firms where you do hear a stories of final salary pension transfers uh, not quite going um, as well for them. Uh, so a second point on that is obviously you can check these independently as well. If you don't want to speak to our clients, fine, but you can go and read our Google reviews. You can look at the testimonials, which you can request from us. You can also check us out in the Financial Times um, and bits and pieces like this to see the work that we've done um, and how we're uh, looked after or how we're thought of uh, in the industry. The final point I would say is in terms of service as well. At Cameron James, we're very hot on having a high level of service. My administration team is always pushing back to me and saying, Dominic, can we slow this down? Can we slow this down? Uh, we would like to have more time to do this. My answer is let's hire more people then. I don't want to slow the process down. I want to keep fast timelines. I want to be one of the fastest transferring uh, DB pension uh, companies uh, in the industry. And to do that, you need a very high level of staffage. You need qualified people who understand their role and are hardworking. That's pretty difficult in this day and age. It's not so easy to build a team and it's just expensive. You have to employ numerous people. Sometimes there might not be loads of pension transfer work to do, but then you might go through a glut of high value cases which needs securing and you need to have administration team ready to go. And Cameron James, we actually have more administrators than we do financial advisors, which actually flips the model on its head. In nearly every other advisory firm I've worked in, the idea is stack the advisors high because they're the profitable one, keep the admins low because they're a cost, if you look at profit and loss in terms of um, a statement. However, I see it the other way around. Yes, the financial advisors are extremely important in providing your financial advice or introducing to the authorised DB pension transfer specialist, helping you implement that advice from them. However, it is the administrators that really get a lot of the back end work done. Calling their CUTV uh, scheme in the company in the UK until it is done. Chasing them every five to 10 working days until your money has physically arrived in the SIP. This isn't always necessarily done by the financial advisors because it's their job, obviously with high level experience, to be talking about clients and what is their rationale, et cetera, et cetera. It's the administrators in the company and thank you CJ administrators, all the work they do for actually getting uh, pension transfers done. Guys, I hope this has been a useful introduction um, on Cameron James. If you're not familiar with us or you're currently looking to go through an advice process with us, if you have any questions for myself or CEO of the company, please let me know in the comment section below. Or you can always email me directly on dominic.murray at cjfinance.co.uk, which is also available in the description below. Guys, thank you. Take care of your deep pension assets and look forward to speaking with you soon. <music>